I want to say I kind of like Gary's idea about the school system. Uh, I'm not as anti-teacher as Gary seems to be. But the idea of having a more open school system and paying kids to pass, you know, their high school graduation tests, basically. Um, I like the idea. I think it would be a good incentive. I also like, though, um, uh, you know, there's, it's, there's issues with it to debate, but I like the fact that this would mean that a lot of us would be telling our kids they have a job, you know, and they would be being paid to learn. And, and I like that. I think that that would last them after they'd graduated high school, having, you know, uh, 18 years of your job being learning would maybe make you the kind of person that knew how to learn. Uh, the problem is, though, with the saved money idea is they, they still need to pay for the education. Um, they need access to resources, um, potentially journals. Um, I, I do believe people should would, would uh, benefit from teachers, a lot of people, and tutors. And I'd like to see this kind of economy, because I'm coming at it from the point of view of I homeschooled my kids for years, and there's plenty of sports and gymnastics and piano lessons, but if you're like, well, geez, the kid's in sixth grade and I want them to have more, you know, more expert, you know, math tutoring. You know, that's hard to get. And I think a system like this would open it up, but there would have to be some money, I would think, from the state, because you don't want poor people to just lose out because they don't have the resources for the kids to do the test, and then only the rich kids are getting this kickback because their parents have spent the money because they have the money, and it just becomes a way that, you know, to make education elitist. You want to watch out for that. I don't think it would tend for that. I just think that obviously people would have to have access to resources. It doesn't have to necessarily cost uh, money in general. I mean, if we had a, a cultural a system like that, that where the whole culture, you know, understood that as its system, you'd probably have, you know, things like journals that already give student access. It could be a, a more easily arranged kind of thing. That, you know, students just have student ID, and it gets them all kinds of who knows. Lexus Nexus is a public service has to let them search or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the details, but there has to be some system to help provide these people with the tools. You have to have a basic um, education system. But a lot of that could be online, you know, the curriculum, you have information about those tests, you'd have the lectures saved like in Mendham has. But I do think that there's some going to be out of pocket expenses um, that are going to be appropriate. You don't want the rich people that can afford it. Uh, to to get an unfair upper hand, you know, in the education. So, um, you know, but even so, I mean, I think you could do that and break even. It also go at least, and it also goes along with an idea of, I thought a long time ago, you know, if you just put a few thousand dollars in an account when a baby's born, uh, it's just hard to afford that. People are in real life situations and making that decision, that's hard to do. But if the society did that, then, you know, the compound interest would make that a sizable sum by the time they, they graduate. So, you know, so you could spend something like, you know, half the money on providing people well-maintained websites with support and maybe a certain number of tutors the state will provide and these kinds of things still save money. And when you give them that money at 18, you didn't actually spent it, but you did the compound interest thing, and you only spent what it took 18 years earlier. And uh, not to be morbid, but for those kids that don't make it and stuff, there'd be a recycled uh, value in there. So, um, uh, and I was thinking of people that passed away, sadly, but it would, I guess that would count for people that, that lived but didn't pass the test. But of course, you don't want to recoup things anyway uh, that way. I mean, you want to. Uh, you want them to pass the test but so it's an interesting idea I'd like to talk about it I think it could work I think it goes well with unschooling and homeschooling and um, and uh, there's an element of personal responsibility um, I also have faith that even parents that are uh, don't care about education would care about the money and since their kid isn't working for them otherwise very likely um, to want their kids to work and, and in fact you could have incentives you know you could have standardized tests um, pay a bonus every year remember you spend a thousand dollars a year to have that kid in that school you could afford to give 
bonuses um, potentially you know just two hundred dollars when you pass to the next level or something and then I, I I don't know maybe that would be a terrible thing I'd like feedback I'm not saying I know I just like these ideas I want to think about them and see what kind of uh, scenarios we can come up with that would you know break that system uh, are those solvable scenarios like well if you have this scenario you can detect it and then you do this side rule or is there a way to make a system where that scenario wouldn't come up or the scenario is just us being paranoid because we're used to the education as we have now or what I think one thing that makes this all very doable and we can't experiment with education you don't want to ruin a kid's life by uh, educating them entirely the wrong way but we I think we know enough about education and kids are naturally inclined to absorb information enough that we can experiment and knowing that there's ways for the kids to recover you know but the experiments would have to be honest you couldn't just be pushing your system and want to push it no matter what you would have to check with the kids is it working fortunately we don't seem to have that kind of mentality right now in education so it's not like we can rely on something like that being there but I think in principle we can uh, we can assume that if we got a different educational structure we have a different um, you know people would have different expectations and sometimes we, we aren't you know we don't need to go well human nature is this it's because like no that's not human nature that's our expectation but I think there is the issue of, of what do you provide with the kids that's an interesting one again not a problem with it it's it's because it seems like a decent idea well let's ask well you know what do you provide these kids is there a pool of tutors is it just recorded lectures you know the, books obviously do buy books from private people do it it's, you know all of these issues and um, and I think we can uh, we could probably answer those pretty well um, so yeah I uh, I also think it would be pretty good if 18 year I mean 18 year olds would waste a lot of money if they had a bulk sum and maybe want to pay it out or deal with that somehow but for me where I wanted to be responsible and and get some sort of you know stability for myself that I hadn't had as a child if I had had a bulk sum like that upon graduating high school or even college um, I could have made good use of that I mean I'm sure I would have blown some of it but I would have you know, down payment on a house you know I was ready to do that I didn't want to just if I had a bunch of money I didn't just want to run across the world I mean I had chances to do that with my money and instead I'm like oh, I'm gonna use this to live off of while I work on a project and, and because I love it or because I think I can make a living off of it or I'm gonna learn something you know so um, so I think in the long run I would like to think that kids could really benefit and, and use wisely you know at least 50 percent of that money and, and and be less of a burden on society um, as a result right and, and less homeless and less you know all of these things that help society as well of course as the individual so yeah. now Gary himself is I, I guess maybe uh, dealing with the hurricane so say this now before he comes back so he doesn't know I agreed with him okay cheers